Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today we have some hard drives that need formatting. They're right here. They are two and a half inch, uh, 1.2 terabyte hard drives. And these has come out of an uh, IBM Power AIX system, which means that they are formatted in a weird way. It's not long ago that I did a video like this where I um, figured out how to do the, the conversion from 520 bits to 512 bits, which the 512 bit system is usually used for regular server systems like uh, yeah, Windows and Linux and stuff like that. They prefer that. If you have more highly sophisticated stuff, like apparently IBM A AIX systems, and also high-end uh, storage systems. Well, they like the 520-bit system. That leaves them more bits for a higher security. So we are going a little bit down in security here, but then again, we're gonna go a little bit up in capacity, which you will see. I, um, I tested this yesterday and it takes forever and ever, so it's gonna be a long video, but I have one in here one of the drives because I put them in. I was actually just gonna delete them. And then I got an IO error. We're gonna see that, but I thought that we should start without the server on just to keep the noise level down. So you can hear the wonderful music that everybody loves to hate. Well, for every 250,000 views, someone complains about the music. Never mind. I'll turn this on and you will see what we have here. So I'm booting the IBM X3650 Model 4 here, which actually has an Hewlett Packard Enterprise H200 HBA inside. It has an HBA, which is a, um, well, it's a kind of a disk controller. It doesn't do anything with the disks. It just presents it to the operating system. So yeah, and the server is, ever so slightly noisy at the moment going up and down in fan speed which can be because i have these two gapping holes in front of the server because i took out all the drives that was in here to make it more clear what's happening here so here we have server 2022 standard evaluation version down there and i have 69 days before i have to rearm it and get a new 180 days trial but if we go down to the start menu, right click and select disk management, we get an overview of what we have in here. And we can see that I have 1117 gigabytes. That's the 2.5 inch hard drives. Then I have the C drive, which is it's, it's one of these uh, solid state drives that is uh, acting as a, a boot drive in there. So um, yeah, it's the top one and we can, we can see that this acts like a normal drive. I can create a new simple drive on that if I want to. Uh, we don't actually need to because we can use this hard drive tune. There is also the hard drive tune pro, but my evaluation license has run out and I'm still too cheap to get it. I really should. Yeah, we can, we can test it with this and it will, um, it will look just fine. Um, the hard drive does about up to 190 megabytes per second, which is pretty good. These are decent hard drives for sure. They are 10,000 RPM SAS drives. Um, you, can, you can see the SAS drive here. If there is a hole between the power and the signal, it's a SATA drive but this is a SAS drive, so yeah. I'll let this run and we'll see it when it's done. Okay, it's done with the test. You can see that it starts high and it goes down a little bit, well, quite a bit actually, from 189 megabytes per second to 106. My theory, and I would like your input on that, would be that uh, inside here there's a platter. Oh, it's actually up there. There's a platter and my thinking is that at 
it starts at the outside where the where the platter is spinning really fast and then it moves inwards and in here it's it's at this point but I don't know if that's true but um, do leave in the comments if if you think that is what's happening here why it's going down like that if you take in an SSD and do the same test it will just be a straight up there so uh, yeah okay so this is doing really well we can test that and it um, it shows up fine so let's try and replace it with one of the ones that hasn't been reformatted yet and then uh, and we will see the difference and we'll format it so this is my uh, my ninja setup so um, I can just reach in there and unplug the hard drive from the from the connector it's uh, it's a very hot plug so we'll take the next one and put that in and I just need to hit the connector over here there it's in so over here it does show up you can see that if I right click it 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 tells me that I can online it so let's online it and it will give me an IO error here. It's not working. Not doing it. I haven't actually tried HD tune on it. We'll get some info. Uh, we get some information about the capacity benchmark. And that dies. Okay, so apparently this is not working very well so uh, yeah we have to do something to it I have also oh we should just try that this part we can do the advanced one and run it as administrator and list disk and it's not there so um, yeah, that's not working at all. But in a previous video, not that long ago, we installed a utility called SG3. Uh, don't believe this works, no. But I have it on the computer, on the temporary directory. HD3 utility. And I can't run it from in here, I need to run it from command prompt. And we're gonna run that as administrator as well, just to be sure. There. I'm gonna go to the root. Go to the temporary library. Go to SG3. Oh, that's not it. there and then I have a couple of commands that I have written down because yeah I'm a shovel at, at doing stuff like that so uh, first we're gonna run SG scan and that should look like uh, something like this and everything it's gonna uh, all it's gonna do is gonna give me a number that I need so, um, it's like list disk you can see we uh, we have the HD zero which is the IBM drive which is the one that, um, well, this is one of its buddies, but it's it's the same drive. Uh, this is called HUC, HUC right there. So that's the top one, HD0. And then the HD1 is my Intel, um, oh, this one, the body of that. So we need to, uh, the, the HD0, and we need to put that in this command down here. When we're gonna format it, we're gonna use this command, and at the very end, there's a HDX, and the X we're gonna replace with the zero so that it works. So the command from my piece of cardboard here. Uh, oh, I made an error here. That's the opposite way, that's PG. PG zero. 
make sure that it's the right drive let's try that again there and it gives me a bit of time to um, to make sure that I really want this so 15 seconds 10 seconds 5 seconds and then it will start formatting formatting unit has started and um, yeah this takes forever and ever um, but it does give you percentage wise how far it has gotten so um, I'll show you that okay so we got the first uh, response from it saying that it's at 0.99 percent so it's almost one percent done and that, that took quite a while I think it pops up just about every minute or so so it's gonna take probably a hundred minutes ish to complete so uh, I'm gonna let you wait for that surely nah I'm not we're gonna jump to the end and just a second okay so several hours later it has now completed and um, now we should be able to see the disc so let's minimize this I'm, I'm gonna do the next one so I'm gonna keep that open now we should be able to open our disk manager here. It still says unknown, but now oh, we can initialize the disk instead of online it. And last time I at least found that this works. So now it's online and we can create new symbol volume. Next, next, next. Give it a good name. Test 11. So this works a lot better and we can use HD2 and try and do a do a test on it. See if it works well. At least it starts in the high. So I'm not gonna let you wait for this. It takes forever. Okay, this did really well. It um, completed that test. It has some spikes up here, but it um, it makes the right curve doing going down that way so uh, yeah that's exactly as expected cool so that was the second of the eight drives that has been well changed from 520 bytes to uh, 512 bytes so we can continue with the next one if um, i think i'm gonna be selling these in my store because i don't think i have anything really uh, want to use these for so yeah check check out the link in the description and you might be able to see what what i came up with with selling these so yeah so the next one is in so we should just be able to to run the scan make sure that it has the same number and run that and it's gonna format the next one and it's gonna take forever and focus Okay, so focus, yeah, and um, yeah, it's gonna, oh, well, there's a lot of them, there's still six to go, and it takes quite a while, so I must admit it's not that long ago that I did the last video on formatting drives from 520 to 512 bytes, but if you come across some cheap drives on the interweb out there and you want to buy them, well, this might just save your neck, because when you get the drives and they don't work, well, you can do this and then there's a second chance and you got some cheap drive because they were weird. As said, I'm gonna set these up for sale in my shop. So do check the link in the description. What 1.2 terabyte, 10,000K spinning disc could be worth. Um, yeah, but thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.